Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and it's time for another product quick view. Let's get to it. Okay, so today we're going to put together the industrial connector by Signamax. There's the reference number for you. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and put the cable through the connector as shown. Ah, there we go. The other thing I do want to mention, if you're using an industrial connector, you're probably going to want to use an industrial type of cable. We do have these available online. They're sold uh, per thousand. And you might want to check out our YouTube video for more information as far as what's under the jacket, what else is available, and uh, you know, just to get a better feel. That's what you want to use in environments like that for oils and all kinds of other stuff. So a uh, plain Cat 5 cable probably won't last a long time for your type of application. If if you're using this type of industrial connector. So something to think about. Now let's go ahead and strip the jacket off. Once that's done you want to go ahead and just line up your uh, conductors as far as which color code you're going to use and I decided to use 568B. Go ahead and trim the edges and then go ahead and slide your plug right in there. It's a little bit of a chore and it's also a little hard to see uh, the connectors but if you I think maybe about half inch is what you want to cut it to and slide it in there and you can kind of take a look there to where the conductors it looks like they pretty get pretty close to the end and then the jacket itself right there uh, it's gonna pass that little crimp area it's hard to see the conductors there sometimes what you might want to consider we have these available also is the C is the is the plug where you can pass through very easy you can tell the wires you can see them you can make sure you got the color code correct you won't have to you know think twice and did I do this right because I can't see that well and then the tool itself these are sold separately they'll put a link in the website uh, in the comments below down there in the description where you can check this out so the tool itself also has a blade to where once you have it wired proper you want to go ahead and just crimp it while it crimps it also cuts as shown so if you got a lot of these to do you might want to consider getting these plugs and a tool also at the same time maybe save yourself some grief in the long term now let's go back to our plug that we terminated here we want to go ahead and use a crimp tool, go ahead and crimp it down. Some of these crimp tools, they have a locking mechanism to where once you have it crimped properly, then it'll let you go. Actually, they all should have that if you've got a good tool. There we go. It looks pretty good. And see that? There's that little crimp piece that we needed to get the jacket past. And the plug that's included, the tabs, you know, it's removed from the factory. You don't need that tab, you just it's going to tighten down. And then you can tell you want to align the top, the pins, the face up towards that Cat 5e logo. There we go. And inside, you can tell it's got that rubber gasket. If you need some more information on this product just by itself, there is uh, they're on the website, and of course, once again, YouTube, we do have quite a few videos on all kinds of stuff on there. So um, there it is. And then you want to go ahead and make sure it's all the way in there. How I did it was I kind of pushed pressure on that plug. And then with my other hand, I went ahead and started hand tightening the nut back there. And once it gets tightened to a point with your hand, the cable will stay in place, the plug won't move. And then what you're going to want to use is a 19 millimeter wrench to go ahead and tighten it the rest of the way. And you're going to want to just twist the back portion in order to lock the cable gland in place. And there it is. Pretty straightforward. Here's a good look at the connector itself where it's supposed to be in place. Now these items when used with the Signamax, the jacks and the plates, it does offer an IP67 rating and these are meant for industrial applications, you know, warehouses and uh, manufacturing, uh, breweries, any, anywhere where there's a mess where you need a good connection in the long term all the time. Very annoying if you got to get these redone constantly. So the cap, it is, does include the cap obviously, but the inside the cap there's kind of these tabs in there to where the plug is going to line up inside of it only a certain way and you want to push it there, you know, push the bottom in, twist it and you'll feel it kind of 
pop at the end or it locks into place. And there it is. That's straightforward. Now you can just drop that on the floor, you know, let or, or put it where it needs to go, and you'll be fine. The other thing I do want to mention, we do have the sockets, the the jacks in themselves, and the plates, so that way you can get a complete system in certain areas. The screws on the plates, they actually even have rubber gaskets, and behind the plate it also has a rubber gasket. Now you want to just go ahead and insert that modular plug into that jack, and give it a twist, and bam! There you go, you have a nice setup if you're looking for something that will stand the test of time, especially when you use that industrial rated cable. And we have these available in uh, the Surface boxes also, and Cat6, Shield also. But more information and order, visit DiscountLowVoltage.com.